now for this opportunity um, to talk about what the WMU is all about. Um, the purpose of the ministry, sorry, baby, <laughs> gotta get the glasses right. <laughs> all right. Um, through WMU, our purpose is women can find a personal fulfillment in reaching beyond the self to a glo global vision. Women learn about the importance of praying, giving, going, and doing as they discover their own personal mission, lifestyle. Our target audience is pretty much the SMBC community, but we go outside these doors. This is where we start and then we take it out. The number of people reached by the ministry annually, we, we don't have a real firm number, but we have several hundreds that we do reach through our outreach and through our mission activities here. We have about 105 people who volunteer at some portion of the year to work with the ministry. Uh, and this includes everything from the uh, shoe boxes to the uh, missions banquets, the mission uh, activities that we do for, uh, for uh, support of different things in the community. <coughs> Uh, the number of members of SNBC and attendees, we have about 120 plus all the others that we reach in our outreach as a project uh, support. Our funding is the, the SNBC budget to support this <coughs> ministry annually is about $5,200. We do uh, not have any other source of income, that's it. Uh, Terry is our staff liaison. Um, we have several members on our ministry team, <clears throat> Stephanie Garling, Bonnie Fellows, Linda Hoffman, Ella Mae Young, Alice Seymour, Kelly Payne, Marianne Wise, and Marianne Brock, Mary Brock. What our purpose is and what we do is missions education. That is what it is started and that's what we continue to do. Uh, we are the only group within the church that has that as a focus, is to be missions educators. Our first priority is to support our missionaries locally, nationally, and internationally. <coughs> and this is both CBF missionaries and IBF missionaries, IMB missionaries. Uh, we encourage discipleship. We pro provide church-wide education. We do mission support. We promote various mission activities and offerings. Uh, we, we do each of the, uh, the national offerings, the CBF offering, the Lottie Moon, the Annie Armstrong, the Liza Broadus, all of those. Plus, we also have done different minor projects, such as we made shorts for some missions in Haiti a few years ago, participated also in the dresses that were made for the missions in Haiti. Um, our programs are age-related, they're factual, and over the years, WMU has changed its focus. We are no longer just a women's only group. We welcome men in our units. Uh, we have several that are attend, are still called Women on Mission, but our mission emphasis. We have several men that attend there. Um, we also are uh, working uh, to encourage our younger women with some, uh, there are some uh, outreach that you can do and, and education you can get over the internet with the WMU uh, website. We are also, as WMU, every two years we have a major, uh, major emphasis nationally. Uh, the last, yet last year and this year, the emphasis is on PTSD. And part of that, uh, Glenn Williams is presenting a PTSD program for us first two Wednesday nights in January. We've also uh, worked with um, other many community groups. And that is what we're all about, is missions. What would you like? What I like? I like a lot more participation from our younger group, and we're working to try to figure out how to to get them into interesting in the WMU. And you know, we kind of have a bad rap as being little gray-haired old ladies. I guess we could all dye our hair, but <laughs> not in the picture. But there's a lot of opportunities for younger women, and a lot of opportunities to interact with the community, with people around the world, and that is just something we're afraid they're missing out on because they're not getting to know it as well as they should. So we're gonna work on that. But that's what we really would like. 
I wasn't aware you'd opened it up to men. How, how long has that been going on? 10 on, years. On the back where it says yeah. adults on mission. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. book. You've been coming to our other meetings. For years. Yeah. And we did, there was one uh, a few years ago, it was a prayer group that met. <coughs> uh, Mr. McNeely led it. The prayer group for that. Mm -hmm. So it's come more and come more. This is what happened. In fact, we had a little session, was it Monday? Mm -hmm. Monday with one of uh, mm -hmm. our, mission, or she's not an official missionary, but she works in, um, what was it, Ecuador? Guatemala. Guatemala, yeah. And John Hines was over there, and so, mm -hmm. you know, we were there. Makes sense. <coughs>